Hello ladies and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Hannah and on this channel we talk about everything about overcoming your PCOS naturally and just supporting each other in our PCOS journeys. So today I'm giving you another update. I think this is, I have to double check what video this is. It's either three or four. I filmed one and then I wasn't able to finish it so my numbers on the secret series are all off. But anyways, a lot has been going on as far as symptoms and um, supplements and just everything in general, especially since I just was out of town for two weeks. Everything as far as like the last video, that's how it was right before I left for my trip. And then once I left, I ended up forgetting most of the like specific fertility supplements at home so that was one thing and another is my husband was at home while I left so there's that I figured out that I was kind of bombarding my body with a lot of stuff a lot of changes at one time and even with like anything being natural it can still be a drastic change and um, you know a little rough on your body to do something and add all these things in at once when it's used to a certain thing so if you haven't seen any of my other videos to kind of keep you updated on what I'm talking about, I'll link them down below or around here somewhere. But um, I was taking the Anisetol and mine had D-Cairo and Mio, Mio, still haven't figured out how to say that. Um, and I kind of, if you watch the other ones, I had like a migraine the first night, but it, I never got one after that so I just continued taking it but I was progressively and more and more becoming really dizzy I would get dizzy spells and I would become really lightheaded like it was freaking me out I was like I need to do something and I looked up effects of it and I could not find anything saying that that could be a side effect so I was thinking oh maybe it's something else going on but once I stopped that that went away all those symptoms went away immediately just about like two days after it all went away and I noticed even when I took them that I would feel fine and then when I took them a little later I would feel that so that was already on my list of things to not take but I kind of wanted to start getting it to where I didn't just stop taking it I wanted to do to where I was taking I think four pills a day to in the morning two at night and I was just gonna do like start doing three and then two the next day and then one just to like gently let go but um it was a blessing in disguise because I feel so much better I don't know what it was in that or maybe it's a specific brand I got um but it just wasn't agreeing with my body but second I left my fertility here which I absolutely love I love the taste of it I've always felt great while taking it so I was a little bummed out about that, but I just figured, you know what? It, there's a reason for it. There is a reason. Um, I am a true believer that everything happens for a reason and it happens at the perfect time. So I just kind of took it as, you know what, Hannah, take a break from it. And even though I haven't even been on them, I think I'd been on them maybe two to three weeks. Um, but just let it go, enjoy your trip, and then when you get back, get back on it. So, um, I've been taking the fertility again. I've been back about a week every day and uh, no, none of the inositols, what was the other ones? But all of the other supplements I had listed, I have been taking consistently, like the magnesium. <laughs> I have to look right now, is that sad? Um, but as far as symptoms go, so I felt really good on the whole trip to be honest and I ate pretty well. I ate a little more processed than I normally do um, but I didn't run into anything. I, I felt good. I wasn't getting that great of sleep, but still overall, I think I had one day of anxiety. Most of it was awesome trip. Now coming back, I am only taking one cup a day of the fertility and before I was taking two. So like I said, I just kind of felt like, and in my heart, like my intuition was saying like, yo, you're doing way too much all of a sudden make this more of a gradual process even though I'm really excited for baby number two I'm like you know what I think that's a good plan um, going at it really gung-ho can can just make you stressed out and uh, that's kind of what you know I was just like so excited about it and I still am but as far as like 
having supplement like taking supplements I'm just gonna ease my way into it so instead of the two cups a day of fertility I'm taking one now and maybe next week or the week after I will up it to two uh, as far as symptoms go oh and another so besides supplements a few other changes is I finally night weaned my son so he was still nursing at night and quite frequently I would add he was comfort nursing so he wasn't really eating as much as he was just comfort nursing but still completely weaned him so that's been a huge blessing as far as my sleep goes and as far as my estrogen levels go speaking of estrogen levels I dug deeper into researching breastfeeding and estrogen levels talked to other moms who were still breastfeeding their two-year-olds and uh, came to the same conclusion that it is normal to have lower estrogen levels during breastfeeding times and depending on each woman and their physiology having a period never having a period while breastfeeding is totally normal and getting it you know a couple months after continuing to breastfeed like a three-month-old baby is completely normal so it's really from what I gathered and what I felt in my heart too as well um, it's completely normal so I will say cutting down those night feedings not having any night feedings anymore and cutting down the feedings to only three times in a day right when he wakes up lunch and dinner that I have seen and felt some changes going on in my body that I can definitely tell estrogen levels are naturally starting to rise as far as symptoms go my CM is becoming more and more fertile which is such a blessing and it's actually making an appearance because for a while there it did not um, my sex drive is definitely increasing which is again awesome because you I just didn't feel like a, a woman not wanting to ever baby dance with my husband it's weird and um, so now that's fine I feel that coming back I've been having some cramping and some tinges down in my ovaries and like my uterus area so I know things are happening there uh, I felt those same things right before I got my period back and started ovulating again from my amenorrhea so those are all really good signs I'm really excited about it and I just uh, the biggest tr you know change that's happened since the last video is I kind of took a step back and I was like Hannah trust your body like you like you preach it when you trust your body things happen how they should happen as long as you're fueling it the correct way so making sure I'm getting in oh in my daily fertility sorry this video is everywhere but my list of daily fertility foods I left it at home as well so I just made sure I was eating well there and really eating till I was satisfied I am still eating higher fats Although when I checked my weight there, just because I never check my weight, I don't even have a scale at home, but I was like, you know what? Where I went, they had a scale. I was like, I'm curious to see how, if I have gained weight from, you know, really increasing the fats in my diet, and I had it, I gained two or three pounds, which two and three pounds could be water weight or whatever, but typically I'm always at 118 pounds, and I was 100 and, and after after giving birth staying around 119 120 and I was 122 so who knows but I definitely feel like certain clothes are getting a little tighter on me which is totally fine like that's the whole purpose of me increasing my fats um, but I am still I'm not really like get more fat every time but I am still making sure that I am getting a good adequate amount of fats and I have been feeling really well with that also just as of recently I felt like little tinges of pains in like my boobs and my nipples which I haven't felt since before having my son or like during pregnancy so that's been something where I'm like you know what I definitely know that those estrogen levels oh and I felt a little nauseous which never felt nauseous before well I did before having my son but when I years ago was on the pill and I'd start to take them I would get nauseous at the beginning which is when that that extra estrogens going in you so I'm like okay something's changing something is changing for the good they are rising I'm still planning on getting my blood test and I will keep you all posted on that just for the simple fact that it's been a crazy journey and I would love to know myself and see what's going on but for the most part since I've done these changes since going on this trip since um, 
enacting everything as of lately for the past, I guess it's been three weeks since I've talked to you all, I have felt great. I have been doing a lot of my positive affirmations, lots of visualizations before I go to bed or in the shower or when I have time. And I'm just really getting that same vibe I got right before I had found out I was pregnant with my son. Like the same vibe, I can't explain it. But there's just this vibe I had right before him where I was just so sure of my body and I was so sure of how things were going. I have that same feeling. Like I just, I just can see myself already with another one, another baby, and just, it's just so clear to me now. So that's another good sign. So a really good positive update, but um, pretty big changes I feel like. It's been a huge blessing to feel great and getting back to who I feel like I really am on the inside. That is it for this update. I hope you all enjoyed it. It was pretty short and to the point. I'm still going to be doing the video on the fertility foods I'm including in my diet every day. It'll be in my next update. And the next video you are going to watch is how I cleared my skin from the hormonal acne. If you haven't already subscribe, I'd love to have you on this journey with me. If you also have PCOS and are TTCing, let me know how it's going down below. As always, I'm so thankful for each and every one of you and I'm so happy to be back talking with you. I love you all. What? What am I doing? What? Hannah, pump the brakes? Type down below. I am stronger than PCOS. Get it in your subconscious mind. Write it, type it, say it out loud and believe it because you are and we're in this journey together.